Do you know how a commercial jet actually starts its engines? It's nothing like a car. You don't just hit a button and expect it to fire up. The whole process is way more complicated than people think. A commercial jet needs four key systems to wake up its engines. The APU, an air turbine starter, the igniters, and a clutch system. First, the APU has to spool up. This little turbine in the tail cranks itself to speed, starts burning fuel on its own, and then begins pumping out a ton of high-pressure air. That's when the first main engine gets to work. The APU blasts that compressed air straight into the engine, slamming into the turbine blades and spinning them like crazy. Through a set of gears, this rotation turns the high-pressure shaft of the engine. Once the engine reaches about 20% RPM, the system sprays fuel in and the igniters spark it. The moment it lights, the engine starts sustaining itself. When the RPM climbs to around 50 to 60 percent, the igniters shut off and the air turbine starter disconnects automatically through a centrifugal clutch. At this point, the engine start is complete.